The Greater Metro Conference Boys Indoor Championship had a familiar feel. Once again, Brookfield East captured the top spot. Their indoor reign now covers five straight years and seven of the last eight. The Spartans excelled at the 55 meter events. First came the dash, which was won by junior Will Sutton with a time of 6.72 seconds. It's an event he usually doesn't even run. This was my first 55 this year for high school, and it's not my main event, but the coaches let me come out and try it, so I did pretty well. Next came the 55 meter high hurdles with junior Zach Copeland taking top honors. Some friendly competition with teammate Mitch Douglas provides some extra motivation. Last year I was third, so today it felt really good to win. Um, I got my, my teammate Mitch Douglas. He's my, he's my driving force. I'm always trying to beat him. So today it, it ended up well. I beat him. It felt really good. In the 55 meter low hurdles, the Spartans continued to spread the wealth as Douglas got the best of Copeland to notch another first place finish and 10 more East points. Try to get to that first hole as fast as I could. Kind of just kept my mind on my race, not on the opponents. And this ran to the ending is kind of got, had good form throughout the whole thing. This had my best race. There were other impressive performances from the rest of the Greater Metro Schools. Sussex Hamilton's Drew Patterson stars in football and basketball now add track to that list as he outran an impressive field to win the 200 meter dash. Drew also placed second in the 400 meters. The pole vault was a head to head battle between Glenn Harold of Brookfield East and Josh Boder of host West Dallas Central. Both cleared 13 feet with Harold taking the 10 points for East. The 4x160 meter relay was a tight contest that went to Menominee Falls, who outlasted Brook East, Tosa East, and Marquette in the final. But the night belonged to the Spartans. The two-time defending state champs are more than ready to head outside and complete the three-peat. There's this huge expectation for us to be a really good team, and there's a, lot of, there's a large target on our back coming from most other teams. But we're living up to expectations, and we think that we're going to be able to do just as well as we did last year and the year before that. We're feeling real confident. We're looking forward to state, and like, like you said, we're looking forward to three-peat. We think we can do it. A day after the boys meet, the girls got their feet moving for their Greater Metro Conference Indoor Championships. Kadia Hollingsworth of Brookfield East outjumped the competition in the high jump. Hollingsworth clears five feet four inches, then goes over 5'5 five five to tie the conference record. Veronica Porubski of Brookfield Central in the blue and white scores big points by winning both the 55 meter high hurdles and the 55 low hurdles. Now it's the finals of the 55 meter dash. Central's Chisa Obashi will cruise to the victory. Obashi also won the long jump. Turning the pole vault competition upside down is Nicole Larson from the host school, West Dallas Central. Here's Larson clearing 10 feet 6 inches with no problem. Back to the track now for the 1600. It'll be Brookfield Central's Elizabeth Flatley taking charge. Flatley would win the 1600 and the 800, helping the Lancers win this meet for the sixth year in a row. Brookfield East finished second, followed by Menominee Falls, which wins this relay and got a great day from Michaela Robertson. Finally, here's Nicole Larson vaulting 11 feet 6 inches. She breaks the old conference record by a foot. Oh, I'm really happy with how I did. I really wanted to break the conference record and at least get 11 6. 